Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a custodian army phase which has been completed recently by Keith, one of the artists here at Siege. We're going to dive on in and have a look at some of these great models. See you guys in a sec. Hey guys, there's no better place to start with this custodian force than look at the man, Treasure Armour Loris himself. Uh, great model, uh, since it came out, really, really keen on it. I think it's a really, really stoic pose, which is very fitting and in keeping with uh, the custodians, as you'd imagine. Uh, again, this whole force has been painted by Keith, one of the artists here at Siege, and you can see the, there's lots of detail work has been fully carried out on this. Uh, nice little things like, for example, the power effect on the axe. Uh, you've got all the sort of texture applied to the feathers that he's got there as well, which is really nice to make them look very realistic. Uh, and then all the individual gems and lenses, everything fully picked out. The gold work on the armor, highlighted uh, to just to really give it that sheen that you'd expect from uh, from a leader of all of the custodians. Moving around the back here, as you can see, you've got uh, the cape, which has got loads of contrast applied to it as well. Really nice two-tone, sort of darker red on the inside and a bit brighter on the outside as well, which Keith's done. And you've got the lion here on the shoulder as well, fully picked out, highlighted with all the eyes and everything done. And uh, all the filigree, all the weapons and areas of detail on the armor as well, sort of brought up to a nice sheen just to really give him that ornate and uh, leader, leadership's kind of look that you'd expect from, from him. Uh, great model, really, really cool to lead your force. I hope you do like it, guys. Uh, next up, we're gonna be having a look at all the infantry in this force, and uh, then we've got the Dawn Eagle jet bikes and everything afterwards. So stick around, that's all coming up next. See you guys in a sec. Hey guys, so next up we've got all the infantry from this custodian guard force. Uh, there's 10 custodians in front of you, as you can see. One of them is obviously the banner bearer, the Vexilor, uh, which is a really cool model. We'll dive in now and have a look at them in a bit more detail. Uh, we'll start with the, one of the bareheaded uh, custodians, as you can see here, just to give you an overall sort of look at the, all the detail work that's done, all the highlighting, all the uh, different lenses and gems and everything that are fully picked out, uh, all the areas of the leather that are highlighted, uh, the nice black plastic sort of armor between all the joints with a nice highlight on it as well. Um, as you can see there, the power field effect on all the blades that's been done throughout this force and obviously as you can see on the face all the eyes teeth and everything all done even the little sort of uh, metal lugs in his head to show sort of uh, experience and honors are all picked out there so that's just one of them Pull forward the next one so you can see him. Uh, again, nice texture done on the hair there, just to show obviously they've got a bit of contrast and a bit of uh, texture on the hair. And again, all the face all fully picked out, eyes and everything there. Very stomach in his pose there, as you can see. And uh, all the areas of detail work fully painted, fully highlighted, uh, with all the individual gems and everything fully picked out. So that's just another one of the custodians. Uh, pull forward the uh, the Vexilor, um, which is really, really cool. He's uh, obviously got a large banner there with the Imperial Aquila on it. Uh, you've also got obviously some tabards holding down with script that's been writing, written on there as well. So he's a nice contrast applied to the cape as well there, as you can see. Um, just so that really shows obviously the highlights and the contrast. Again, all the way around, fully painted uh, and all detail work fully painted as well, as you can see. Even the lenses are done in a really nice golden yellow color as well to contrast to it nicely, which is really cool. So that's just uh, the custodians and the infantry from this force. Hope you like those guys. Next up, we've got all of the Dawn Needle jet bikes. Uh, so I hope you can stick around and check that out and uh, see you guys in the next part. Hey guys, so next up we have got all of the Dawn Eagle jet bikes. Uh, there are 11 in total, uh, two of which can be used as shield captains. They're designated by the bear heads and uh, a little bit of extra detail work has been done on them. Um, as we can see, I put forward one of the Dawn Eagle jet bike captains here, or shield captains, should I say, to get to focus for you guys. As you can see, all the multiple areas of highlighting and edging on all the gold work, all the cape, the contrast added to that, every gem all picked out, fully highlighted with point of light source. Got a really cool lightning effect there on the power lance as well, as you can see there. And then obviously you've got all the areas of extra detail work and some weathering and sponge work done here just to um, just to pick out that metallic uh, sort of wear on those areas of the uh, the silver uh, you've got the, the mechanicum symbol fully picked out and highlighted as you can see there um, all the areas of contrast that applied to the growth of the armor the bike the reds the browns um, and areas of multiple highlighting throughout on the facial features as well all of the um, sort of facial raised areas all picked out and highlighted with contrast added eyes picked out teeth picked out and there's also um, some uh, texture added to the, the, the gentleman's mohawk as well as you can see there just so it gives it that real sort of hair kind of look if that makes sense um, as I said, the two shield captains are designated by obviously the fact they've got missile launchers on their bikes. So I pulled the other one forward just so you can have a look at him as well. Again, the kids got in and done a lovely job there on all the facial features on these. The skin tones are really, really nice, and uh, you've got some really nice contrast applied to the faces to make them very, very realistic. Uh, again, same consistency throughout on all of these models. Uh, as you can see, all the highlighting and detail work fully picked out, fully edged. 
uh, with a really, really nice pristine finish as you'd expect on any custodian force. Um, I'll pull forward a couple of the uh, other bikers that are non-shield captains you can see here as well. Again, same execution of uh, high detail work and quality of finished job as well as you can see there. Um, cool basing theme as well as selected by a client which really matches and uh, goes well with the uh, the gold and vibrant colours on the bikes as you can see there. Just get that to refocus for you guys. Uh, so that's the 11 bikes from this force. And uh, I hope very much that you have liked uh, this video. I'm going to finish up with a roundup now, guys. So thanks for watching and see you guys in the next part. Hi guys, so I hope you've liked this video and you've liked all the models in this force. It's been a great project to work on and I know Keith has had a great time painting all these models. Uh, it's going to be wrapped up now and sent off to the client. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege Studios, be it for a character, a squad or even an army, feel free to go to our website, go to the contact tab on the website, complete all the details, select the drop down options that are relevant and then drop us an email with uh, your message and we can get the ball rolling. Thanks as always for watching this video and for checking it out. Uh, if you are interested in any other information, all our social media links can be found below. And as always, please like, please comment and please subscribe because we really appreciate it and we like chatting to you guys in the comments. See you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.